another gun found on a local school campus. The principal at Cheyenne High School revealing to families tonight in a note sent home that a firearm was found while staff investigated reports of students misbehaving. CCSD Police Department is investigating this incident and this investigation comes as safety concerns are top of mind for parents. Hello and thanks for joining us live at six tonight. I'm Trisha Keen. Dave Cravassier has a night off. Well, parents concerned for student safety after CCSD police officers fire three shots at a car that was driving on school property that hit a student. You've seen that video already. Anchor Abel Garcia joins us live from in front of Western High School in West Las Vegas with more on parents fears and what one program is doing to prevent situations like this. Abel. Yeah, Trisha, we're actually standing right in front of where that body cam video was taken. It actually happened right here on the east side of campus, right down here in this alley area next to that red car, where we, of course, saw school police shooting that speeding vehicle three different times. Now, we also spoke to a mother who says she is very concerned for not only her daughter's safety, but for all the students who attend Western High School. Now, in addition to that, we also spoke to a group who says they're making it their priority to keep all students and staff safe throughout the district. Stop the car! Stop the car! It's scary. It's scary that things like that happen. Yeah. Lorena Galvan was waiting in the front of the school to pick up her daughter when the shooting happened, wondering and worrying if she was safe. The disturbing video released by CCSD police has parents, students, and staff concerned. Stop! It happened at the end of school last Tuesday and school police responded to reports of a fight and a weapon inside a car in the parking lot at Western High School. Take a look at the car full of minors who were not CCSD students driving through the parking lot as school police direct students to get out of the way. The driver hits a student, then the car reaches 22 miles per hour and shots were fired by police. We just send our kids to school thinking they're safe and everything, but you don't know what's going to happen. Galvan says she could finally breathe when she saw her daughter come out of the school, but says students need more protection. More dads on campus, less problems, less police on campus. Founder of Dads in Schools, Pastor Troy Martinez, is working to end school violence. He says 74 Clark County schools have agreed to take on his program. He hopes to have a dozen of dads at each school to help keep everyone safe. Imagine if 10 dads were standing in front of a school or a parking lot of a school. The potential for the type of violence we saw recently may have been averted. Martinez says a recruitment effort will take place this weekend, and he is hoping to have more than 700 dads join the program. We also reached out to CCSC Police Lieutenant Brian Zink, who says as of right now, they have 188 school officers for the 374 schools here throughout the valley. Now, they are currently working on recruiting more officers to help address this violence and many other issues throughout all of Clark County. But in addition to that, they have four of those officers right now in training. And as soon as they'll be trained, they'll be also a part of the team to help keep these students and staff safe and protected. I'm Abel Garcia reporting live in front of Western High School in West. Las Vegas.